Brown Skin Beauty presents You did me wrong, you did me wrong Hey guys, it's Keisha and today we're going to learn how to make a wig. So we're going to be using a lace frontal from Hot Beauty here which is pre-plugged. And if you would like to see my review on the frontal and bundles, the link will be below. So let's just get started. Now the first thing I'm going to do is sew down my lace frontal. And as you can see right here, I'm using the cotton thread, but later on I'm going to switch to nylon just because it's not as bulky as the cotton. And how I sew is I push it through and put the needle through the spacing of the two strings and pull. And once I do that about three or four times, I wrap the needle around the outside thread just to make a secure knot. Now you're going to see this be really repetitive so it's going to keep on going and you're going to see me keep sewing but just a heads up I did lose footage of me sewing down my frontal so you're going to just see me showing how I sewed down the whole perimeter of the back and that's just basically all I did. It's very simple. And just remember when you're sewing down your frontal or your closure make sure to pull down on the side so that it is taut and tight that when you lay down your wig, it lays down flat and you don't have to worry about the lace lifting up. So as you can see right here, I just showed how I stitched it. And I do a very close stitch on my lace frontals and my lace closures. That also ensures that it lays down flat. And I'm showing on this wig cap that it has the strap. So you don't want to sew on those parts that I pointed at. So just be mindful of that. And now I'm adding my last bundle, which is my 22. And I have it doubled. So I just show you the placement and I'm getting ready to sew. So when I first start off a track, I push it through the weft and then into the cap. It can be either a dome cap, mesh cap, lace cap, it doesn't matter. And I do that beginning and I wrap it around the needle and then I pull through. And then I will start sewing some of the track down and then I'm gonna pull it just to show you guys that it's not gonna go anywhere. It's gonna be nice and tight and secure. So there you can see that I'm pushing the needle through into the middle. I'm gonna pull it through and then I'm gonna do it one more time. Pull through and then again from both wefts and then I should be wrapping it in this next one. No, I'm not, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh gosh. And there goes the secure check to make sure that it's nice and tight and it isn't going anywhere. And there I wrapped it and that's pretty much it. So the video is really repetitive. You're gonna see me doing this throughout my whole entire video. And for my lace frontals, just a heads up, I always double my last bundle and the rest of them I usually single. So, I mean, everyone has their own preference. You can double two bundles and then single your last one just so that it ensures that it's flat at the top and you don't get the bulkiness. And I also use the flip over method when I do do my sewing. Sometimes when sewing, the tracks can get loose. So you just saw me tightening it up and now I'm about to finish the first line of the track. Here's a slow-mo of how I sew. Just in case you didn't get it the first time, 
This is an up close shot of what I do and you see the needle comes in between the two threads and I pull. And when I want to make a knot, I do the same exact movement and then I wrap that outside thread around about two or three times and then I pull and it creates a knot. And here it is, one, two, three, and then I'm gonna pull it through. So now it's time to speed this video up. I hope by this point you guys get my drift. It was really hard for me to record this, but I hope this helped you guys on how I make my wigs. A lot of people have asked me, how do I do it? So this is just my process and I hope this helped. So to finish a line, to do the flip over method, I just push the needle through the weft, loop it around, make a knot, secure it, and then I do it again one more time just to ensure that it will stay put. And then I'm going to flip the two tracks over and then I'm going to T-pin it down and start sewing all over again. So my best friend wanted to make a cameo. Hey, <laughs> my little cousin Jay Kwan, and he wanted to give his mom a shout out. Hey, 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 <laughs> That's right, Crystal Minaj. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> So at this point, I ran out of thread. I don't like to make my thread too short, so I just tied a knot like I normally do. And then when I cut the thread, I make sure I do at least two or three knots, and then I cut the excess off. So just to, to show, I'm gonna show you how I thread my needle, cause just some people might ask, and this is how I do it. So I take the two ends, and then I make the loop of the circle, and I keep it and push it through and then I'm gonna push it through again. That way I can get a double knot and make sure my thread is secure. So I'm back to sewing and you guys know the drift. So here's an up close shot of me 
tying the end when I did my flip over and I'm doing the knots just to make sure it lays flat and it doesn't go anywhere. And now we're back to that good old sewing. Okay, now we're at the top towards the end and to secure my last track, I make sure I line it up with the end of my lace frontal or my closure and I make sure I sew that track to the very bottom of that lace frontal so that it doesn't show any tracks underneath and it will have a seamless, flawless finish. And there you guys have it. That's how I make my wigs. And oh, just to give it a little extra security, I will add a, an elastic band to make sure it lays even more flat to get the job done. So here's the finished look. And if you would like to see how I styled this wig, click the subscribe button below for upcoming videos. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Happy slaying, ladies!